This is the Porter Croesus. And uh, one of the coolest things about this guitar, first of all, it's loaded with Porter pickups. It's unique in the sense that this pick guard assembly is swappable. So uh, when Porter sent us this guitar, he actually sent us four different pickup assemblies. So right now we've got the, the Porter Tron pickups in here, but these guitars can ship with multiple sets of pickups. So here is his uh, Hybrid Plus Strat set. We haven't put this in this guitar yet, but I'm anxious to do it because I really want to hear what these pickups sound like. <laughs> So just apart from the fact that this is a great guitar in its own right, it feels great, it plays really well, um, you get whatever Porter pickups really you want and you can easily swap them out. So I've swapped out a few sets of these pickups and you can do it in about 10 minutes. One thing for me that is a big deciding factor as to what guitar I'm gonna buy is, is pickups, and that's obvious for a lot of reasons for a lot of people. And what they give you is pre-wired pick guards. There are certain sounds that I don't always need every week. So having different things at my disposal, like single coils or Tron style pickups, like right here, is clutch, crucial, and super exciting, especially if I ever wanna do something studio-wise. the specs first of all it's a bolt-on neck and this has got to be one of the best feeling necks that I've ever that I've ever played it's got kind of a satin finish on the neck it's like this perfect uh, sort of combination you can see it looks a little bit shiny but it doesn't feel sticky when you play it um, it feels really good the neck just the shape of it the profile they've done a really great job on that 25 and a half inch scale length, so it's kind of like your typical Fender scale length. All this hardware is hip shot hardware, and uh, I've heard about hip shot hardware before, but I've never actually played it. And I have to say that it, it is um, it is high end stuff. If you look at these tuners, these are locking tuners, and I love the way there's kind of like the open gear on them. If you can see that. Um, and they're so smooth, they're like butter. It's got th this Dunlop strap, locking strap system that is really cool. I love how low profile it is. Uh, and it's just a very well put together guitar. One of the things that I really like about it is how comfortable it is. I think this is a, you know, a great uh, session player guitar or a studio musician kind of guitar if you want to be sort of a chameleon to be able to cover lots of things. And so um, when you sit and play it, it feels really good. It's lightweight um, and just the contours of it. It's a very comfortable guitar to play.
sent us uh, some pickup sets to try out. One of them is this mini humbucker set. I've actually never got to try uh, Porter's mini humbuckers, but I thought this is a good opportunity to show you just how easy this thing is to swap out pickups. You don't even have to take the strings off, you just loosen them. I'm gonna install this set of, of uh, Porter mini humbuckers and then we're gonna play it, see what it sounds like. I'm gonna use a regular old screwdriver. If you have a drill, this is gonna be even easier. One thing that I've noticed when I have swapped this pickup assembly out is these screws don't go into the wood. They go into a, a sort of a metal shaft and screw in, which means it's gonna uh, make the guitar last longer. If this just went straight into the wood, that wood would get chewed away after you change this thing out, you know, maybe a dozen times. But because of the, the way it's designed, it's gonna last a long time. You can swap these out as many times as you want. Okay, so I've got all of the screws out of the pick guard. I'll loosen the strings up and you can just slide this out from under here. I'm gonna show you what this connection looks like. You literally just twist, just turn it, and pull. And so uh, here is the loaded pick guard with the Portatrons. And I'm gonna put this one in with the mini humbuckers. So if you see here, it's just got a connection. It's got two uh, sort of like, you know, it's like a cable with two uh, leads in it. And you just literally, uh, here's the uh, the male end, here's the female end in the guitar. Let me show you what this looks like inside here. You can see that it's got this paint that is like um, uh, grounding, kind of shielding paint, that kind of thing. And it just plugs into this plug. So, you know, you loosen your strings up. And with these locking tuners, you can loosen them up really easily and quickly. Um, here you can see the truss rod design. I actually like guitars like this with the truss rod where you adjust down here. First of all, the truss rod uh, is the full length of the neck, so it's actually an, a more effective and a more stable solution. And you don't have to like, you know, first of all, you don't have a truss rod cover on this end of the neck. And uh, this is gonna take a little longer because I'm sitting here talking about the design of the guitar, but it's, it's only gonna be a few minutes to change this out. So you don't have anything down here and you don't have to mess with adjusting the truss rod down here. You can adjust it down here. Um, I really like that design. There are some guitar companies that, that use that design and uh, I think it's better. So we're gonna, just gonna plug this thing in. You just line it up, push it in, twist it and it locks. It's super solid. Um, really easy, pretty foolproof. Uh, put the pit guard assembly back. There you go. It lines right up. And then uh, put the screws back in, tune it up, you're good to go. Okay, there we go. So the pit guard is assembled. How many, how, I mean, that's just the first time I did that when, when I got this guitar in from Porter. Uh, I've, it blew my mind because I've changed pickups in a number of guitars. I've changed pickups in a couple 335 style guitars. And if you ever want to, you know, understand the definition of, of, uh, pain when it comes to guitar work, try and change pickups in a 335 style guitar it is not fun. You got to go in through the F holes, Bradford. Did you know that? Yes. No good. So this is like... You know, it's like I've discovered fire or something. It's awesome. Okay, we're tuned up. So Bradford, that couldn't have been 10 minutes. No. And I stopped to talk about stuff in the middle. So we went from uh, a guitar with Filtertron style pickups in tune to a guitar with mini humbuckers in tune in like 10 minutes. That is amazing. And here's the moment of truth. So neither Bradford nor I have heard these pickups before. No idea what they sound like. Um, I just have a clean kind of an amp here on the helix with quarter note delay and a little bit of reverb. You want to hear middle pickup position? 
Sounds good, Bradford. They got some bite. They got they got a little bit of output to them. Bridge pickup position. Neck pickup position. I like these pickups a lot. These sound really good. Let's talk about this. What do we love about the guitar? Uh, it feels really good. That's yes, it does. That's that's su you, sometimes it's, you would think it's that it's so lightweight. Yeah, but like sometimes you think when like a guitar is versatile or any anytime I think of something that can do many things, multiple yeah. things, you feel like you have to sacrifice somewhere. Like surely, because so yeah. much it's capable of so much, it's got to sacrifice something. But you would not. I think if I handed this to get anybody the guitar to anybody in the street that was a guitar player, I guess. <laughs> If you handed it to a guitar player. If I handed it to a guitar player, yeah. they probably, first off, you don't know that it's capable of switching pickups, which I actually no. like. I don't want it to look like, hey, this guitar looks like a kit that you can take apart. Like, yeah. It doesn't look like that. No. Um, so it looks real good like that, but it doesn't feel like that either. It doesn't sound like that. I mean, this is this is pretty ingenious and it's awesome. revolutionary, yeah. even, if I could be so bold. <laughs> may I? May I be so bold? You may be so bold. I'm going to be that bold. Yeah. That's incredible. Um... I love the neck. So uh, when I pick up a guitar and play it, one of the first things that I do, usually if I'm at a shop or something, I don't ever plug an electric guitar in first. I just play it and because you can change the way a guitar sounds, mm -hmm. but you cannot change the way like the neck feels in your hand or the feeling that you get when you play it. One thing that I love when I play a guitar, we're kind of in tune here. Is the way it like it vibrates against you, and you mm -hmm. can feel you, you kind of have like get this feeling from it, and uh, and the comfort level. This thing just feels really comfortable to play. I like smaller guitars, like I don't like uh, big guitars. Like I sold that Eastman three thirty five that I had, and one of the reasons that I never played it that much, even though it was a killer guitar, it was just so big. Yeah, and but so, they don't sit. Those kind of bodies don't sit well when you're no. Like, and I play a lot seated. Um, because I'm here like at worship tutorials playing stuff, recording music. Um, so like just having the way this thing feels, it feels a lot like a Telecaster, but it's a little more comfortable mm -hmm. to me. The, the, the curves and the contours. It's like a Tele Les Paul Strat body shape. A combo. Tele Les Paul Jr. Yeah. Tele Les Paul Strata Jr. Yeah. Something like that. It's like, it's, it's cool. got like elements of like all three. Yeah. It's killer. I think a big, a big takeaway from us the two of us right here that we were just talking about off camera is these mini humbuckers man yeah these things and bradford and i were talking it sounds kind of like a telecaster it's got like the spank and like it, that like yeah. lipstick tube it, it sounds like it's got the lipstick tube neck thing but like the the real punchy bright bridge of a telly but it's like thicker like a humbucker i want i want some i want that i want that, <laughs> I want that.
So these pickups are awesome. And this one isn't of, even a review of those pickups. No. If you're one looking of, for mini humbuckers. Hey, so if you're interested in one of these Porter guitars, uh, definitely check out the Porter guitar website. Bradford's interested in one. Um, because they, they have different options. They have different color options. And uh, you can get rosewood on the neck. Um, Bradford is going to request a roasted maple neck. I don't know if they do that, but maybe you can request it. We'll see. So here are some different pit guard options that they sent. You got the black guard with the, the mini humbuckers. Um, you know, you've got like a, what is this, like vintage white or a cream mm -hmm. uh, guard with the, the strat set. The tortoise guard looks great on the white. I had that on there for a little while. Um, and then, you know, black with Filtertron. So you can get really any kind of color combinations that you want. Um, I'm not sure all the colors that Porter's offering now, so I would suggest that you go to the website. I do know I saw a Sunburst one at one point. Ooh. And that was cool. Yes. That looked great. Yes. Um, that would look great with the Tortoise, I would think. Oh, yeah. And a Rosewood neck. Natch. Yeah, that would look awesome. These but, knobs are super cool, too. Like yeah, the every, you know, it's just like all the stuff is is just super high end. Oh, this the is Emerson wiring. Kits. Emerson wiring Emerson kits. wiring kits. There you go. So that's awesome. Nothing but the best. Um, so, yeah, it's just a really high end, sort of a custom uh, level guitar. Um, great hardware on it. One of the things that we both said was that, and this happens with guitars, sometimes you just you, you feel a connection to one and it's like we neither one of us want to put it down we just want to keep playing it there's just something about it and uh and if you're and if you've played a lot of guitars you kind of know what we're talking about you pick something up and you just kind of bond with it the way it feels the way it sounds uh the playability of it in your hands i don't know what do you say it Beth? does it feels like a, a telly and a strat which is home for me i you know yeah. so those are two i use the most but i don't know i'm not very well versed like i haven't played every single guitar in the world for multiple hours on end so that's Neither just the I. first thing it reminded me of but it i mean that's probably because of the the scale length a scale lot of length. it has to do yep. and the yep. tension on the strings yeah but it's gonna feel very at home if you like fender style guitars yeah. nice cool different headstock yeah, I like that too. I mean, some people may not care, but I like headstocks it. are a big deal. Yeah, they are. They really are. So thank you guys again for checking out our demo of the Porter Krosis guitar. Check it out. Go to Porter's website. There'll be a link below uh, where you can go and find out all the specs about this guitar and all the different options if you are interested in picking one up for yourself. See ya.